Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. Always with the... list <clears throat> Oh. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh oh. Where is it? Give me a second, guys.
Good evening. Good evening. Oh, son. A moment, guys. Que no encuentro la list. In the attendance list. Where in the world it is. Here. I lost it. Okay. Anyways. Oh. No, here it is. Crazy. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I was searching or looking for the attendance list. But I found it. Okay. Alba Janet Jimenez. Alba Janet. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Andrea Sofia. No. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Hey. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Ya yeah, pues. Agarraron el viernes. Que galán y no invitan. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Eric, respond, Eric. Nothing. Eric José Hernández. Presente, chef. Okay, the first one. Uh, Fanny Judith Palacios. Germán Enrique González. Presente. Okay. Welcome. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Okay. Welcome. Jose Abel Izaguirre. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Miguel Massa. Aquí estoy, present. Buenas noches. Okay, good. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Eh, Magdiel Esaú García. Present. I'm here. Okay, good. Thank you. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Perfect. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Lisette Gómez. Wendy Lisette missing in action. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Perfect. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present. 
Wilbur, uh, the personal session is with you tonight, okay? Okay. The 10 minutes, 10 extra minutes for free. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Okay, good. And Henry Alberto Perez. Good evening, teacher. Present. Okay, welcome. Okay, people, today is Friday. So we are going to finish this module on Monday, okay? Yo pensé que iba a decir el cuerpo lo sabe. Uh, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but you are in class, so <laughs> you are in class. Entonces, de nada, de nada sirve que te alegres. <laughs> okay. And, um, okay, 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 le iba a decir, ah, de. The platform, guys, the platform. Okay. Uh, use or take advantage of the weekend. So you have the weekend to finish, to complete a, a unit four and the final exam, right? Because on Monday, uh, it's gonna be too much. So for Monday, you have to have everything done, okay? Because Monday night at midnight, I finish with the grades. Pero termino con las notas. Yeah, Monday at midnight. Please, me ver. Ya tengo todavía dos y no los quiero mencionar así en público. Ah, pero tengo, tenía todavía ayer, mejor dicho. Vamos a ver si dos pendientes de la Unit 3 y de, creo que uno del, del, del midterm. Déjeme ver, déjeme ver todavía. Ya te voy a escribir ahí en el chat. Todavía pendiente. Creo que ya les escribí en el WhatsApp directo. Ya les pedí que lo termine. Todavía. Unit 3. Ya, acuérdense que por gusto la desvelada, si no llegan al 80%, pues, si no llegan al 80%, no pasan, no lo pasan. Y es de completar las tareas. Es de completar las tareas. Y si es que, please. Uh, y se quiebra, no lo vean, nada más. El otro. Y el otro, el otro, el otro, el otro, el otro. Ya se fue. Se fue, se dio la fuga. <ríe> Espero que se haya ido a terminar la cosa. Ok, people. Last class, we finish with the imperative. We were talking about imperatives. Yes. Uh, let's see. Let me show you 
some pictures here and try to find the imperative of these pictures. Here I go, share sound. Okay. Look at these pictures. Let's work study mode. Okay, you have the picture and if you observe, you have a symbol for positive or negative sentence. Yeah. For example, this is a negative imperative. What do you think? What is the imperative here? Turn right. Turn right? Don't turn right. I don't turn right. Yes, correct. Don't turn right. Okay, what about this? What do you think is the is the imperative? Come on, look at the action. Look at the picture. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Body. Don't jump. Don't jump. Okay, our, oops. This. Instruction, imperative. Open the window. What? Open window. Open the window, yes. Open the window, correct. Oh, look at this. Negative. What you say to your girlfriend? Uh huh. Cuando te has portado mal. No tengo. <laughs> okay. Oh. Henry, mucho gasto, pues, Henry. Oh, the plan. Everything will be fine. Oh, what is <laughs> don't, that? Don't, don't cry, everything will, will be fine. Ah, don't cry. Don't be sad or don't, don't worry. Or oh, don't cry, como. Don't worry, be happy. Okay. okay. Ooh, this one. Not eat. eat. Not eat. Not or don't? Don't not eat. Don't. don't. Don't eat or drink. Don't eat or don't drink here. Okay, good. Ah, this is positive, affirmative. Be careful. Be careful, yes. Got it. Aha, uh -huh. this is positive. Affirmative. Turn, Turn the left. left. Turn left. Good. This is negative. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Correct. This is negative. You see? Negative. In the call center, let's put it in. <laughs> don't sing singer don't sing don't sing okay oh this is positive this is positive silence your phone silence your phone or oh, not yes. okay <laughs> oh, similar similar no Turn off your phone. Oh, negative sentence. Hurry up. Uh, it's a negative sentence. Similar, but. I late. Don't be late. Don't be late. 
Yes, don't be late. Okay, ah, this one. No smoking. No smoking or? Don't smoking. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Okay. Uh huh. This one. Don't use camera. Don't use camera. Uh, sure. Don't take photos. Yeah. Don't take photos. Okay. And this one. Affirmative. Stand up. Stand up. Yes. Stand up. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Let's make, let's play a game. Let's play a game and we're going to play just one game, tic-tac-toe. Do you know what tic-tac-toe is? Es como aquí cero, ¿no? Exactly. Tic tac toe. Ah, I need two teams. Let's make two teams. It's gonna be big teams. Okay. I have two teams here. Team one versus team two. Okay. Team one starts. Andrea, give me a number. Give me one number. Um, you are nine. Nine. Okay. Sentence. Stand up. Yes, stand. Yeah, it's imperative. Stand up. Remember, imperatives don't have subject. Just okay. stand up. Hey, X. Team two, Blanca. Number. Blanca, number. One, two. He's not there. Jose Massa, number. Four. Four. You cannot play tic tac toe, man. Come on. Okay, sentence. Say. One. Don't, don't take a picture. Okay, don't take pictures, don't take photos. Okay, good. Remember, it's tic tac toe. Team two, Eric Jose, number. Mm, five. Five. Sentence. A turn left. Left. Okay. Good. Team two, Karina, number. Can you participate, Karina? Yes. Um, number seven. Seven. Uh oh, tic tac toe. Okay, sentence. Um, don't eat um, no food. Mm, okay, don't eat. That's it. Or don't drink. Don't. Correct. Okay. Oh, team one, Henry. No, 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 it's not Henry's turn. Herman is. It is Herman's turn. Herman. One. Two. Three. It's not there. Okay, Henry. Number one. Number one. Uh oh. Okay. That's Sit it. Down. No, it's negative. Don't oh, sit down. Yeah, but you said sit down. That was the point. 
No points. Magdiel, number. Okay, Magdiel, is your chance. Number three. Oh, come on, Magdiel. Okay, don't, sentence. Don't to right. Okay, yeah, good. Pero vamos a perder. Okay, Jennifer, number. One. Okay, yes. Okay, vamos, Jennifer. Sentence. No decree. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo, cómo? No cri, cri, se dice llorar, no cri. Ajá, ajá, se dice cry, pero no cry, se uh, dice, no se dice no cry. Uh, Tiene que usar don't, no solo no. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> no point. Vaya, team two. Pedro. Pedro, number. One. Two. Uh, number uh, eight. Oh, oh. Venga, Narva. Okay, sentence. One. Two. Three. Nothing. Don't sing. Oops. Okay, team one. Jose Abel. Um, number one. Okay, a ver si ahora sí. Uh -huh. Don't phone. Don't phone, no. Sorry. Vaya, team two. A ver si hoy si quieren ganar. ¿Qué okay, vamos? Raúl. Uh -huh, teacher. Number. Exacto. One. Bye. Okay, Raúl. Don John. Yes, Don John. Finally, Wait, team two wins. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bye. That's a champion. <laughs> okay, people, those are the imperatives. Remember the negative imperative is with Don. No solo no, don't. Okay, well. Mm, so, last class, we finish with him. Now, today. Uh, 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 uh. Let me see. Okay, let's continue with lesson four because we are going to continue about imperatives, but giving instructions about location. Okay, so look. At the end of the class, you will be able to request and provide instructions about the means of transportation to get to a place. Request and provide instructions about the means of transportation to get to a place. Now, mm, can you name five means of transportation? 
tell me five means of transportation. Hello? Bicycle. Bicycle? Bus. Bus? Train. Train? Airplane. Airplane? Motorcycle. Motorcycle, yes. Uber. Uber. <laughs> uh, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, bueno, scooter. Creo que está en inglés, ¿va? Yes, scooter. Troca. Troca, ¿no? <laughs> es es Spanglish. <laughs> truck. Ok, oh. truck. Entonces es ah, okay. <laughs> ah, ok. <laughs> ah. La yepeta, ¿cómo? Chipeta. Ah, sí. Ok. Let me ask you this other question. Do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus or taxi when you travel? You prefer to drive? Or to go around by bus or time. Well, this is when you travel. To be honest, I prefer that. I don't like buses anymore. <laughs> getting old, I'm getting picky. Yeah. But okay, let's take a look to this word search. We have many words here about different 10 means of transportation are in this in this. Dicen que es. Ajá, ajá. ¿Cómo fue? Muy bien, Jennifer, muy bien, Jennifer. Así como hacían en las clases, comparta con el grupo, díganos. Lo siento, lo siento que... No, que, que ya pagaron, dice, ¿cómo es la cosa? <risa> no, teacher, lo siento es que me acaban de venir a visitar de sorpresa de los Estados Unidos, que alguien que no sabía, así que por eso estoy bien distraída. Oh, okay. Así nací yo. Hay maleta, hay maleta. Así hay nací maleta. yo. No, no es la maleta, alegra ver a las personas. Okay, okay, very good. Hey, practice your English. <laughs> okay, so tell me what means of transportation can you see here? Um, ship. Ship. Motor, motorcycle. Helicopter. Helicopter. Cycle. Okay, helicopter. Next helicopter. line, helicopter. Next line, helicopter. Plane. Only, only the president. <laughs> what? What else? Plane. Plane. Where is plane? plane? Where is plane? Bus. Vaya, se puede, se puede marcar. Marquen, marquen, marquen. Subway. Se pueden marchar aquí. Sub, oops. Aquí veo taxi. Subway. Ah, ya vi plane. Ahí está taxi. Y hay otra. En la segunda. ¿Cuál es? Bicycle también. Where, where is bicycle? Ah, truck. Lo voy a marcar porque ese se borra después. ¿Cuál la marco?
truck, taxi. ¿Cuál me marcaron? Where, where is car? Okay. Where is taxi? Ya está taxi. Sí. Ah, bicycle. Me lo mencionaron ya. ¿Cuánto llevamos? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, one is missing. Yes, train. I'm sorry. I need a pencil. Okay, very good. Ten different means of transportation. Let's take a look to this conversation, okay? Let me read it for you and record it. I'm going to record it in WhatsApp. Give me a second. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. One more time, listen. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Now, um, let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Excuse, Excuse me. My how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Well, well the, the airport, airport is very far away. away. You can you go, can by, can taxi go by taxi or you, you can drive. drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Thanks. I need to rent a, a car. There are rent, uh, rental near here. Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks a lot. a lot. All right. Now, oh, I am A and you are B, okay? Okay. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the, the airport, airport is very, is very far, far, away. far away. You can you go, can go taxi, or taxi or you can, or you drive. can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. street. You can go, go there before. 
by food. Thanks a lot. Now let's switch. You are A and I am B. You begin. One, two, three. Excuse me. Excuse me. How can How I get can I help the you with the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Thanks. Um, um, I'm going to drive. drive. But, but I need to rent, rent a car. car. Is there, Is there a, a car, rent, car, rent car near, near here? here? Sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks. Thanks I a lot. Of, lot. Okay. A lot. Very good. So you see, when you want to ask uh, the way to get to a place, so you ask, how can I get to the airport? So you are asking for instructions. Yes, when you, when you ask, how can I get to the airport? You are asking for instructions. Then the, the person tells you the way. So you can go by taxi or you can drive. Yeah, you can go by foot, different ways, no? By taxi, drive, by foot, by bus. So you see, when we talk about a means of transportation, we use go by, go by, okay? Um, go by bus, go by car, go by plane, go by foot. So we use go by to explain the means of transportation. Okay. Now, uh, I want you to, well, first, you're going to practice the conversation in pairs, okay? You're going to practice this conversation. Then you have to write the name of three different places around the company, around your, your work. For example, around my work. <laughs> Mr. Luna. Uh, around my work is a gas station. Uh, uh, well, this is by car. No, I can go by foot. But um, a shopping center. A shopping center. Yeah, means of transportation, car. Can I go to the shopping center by car? Can I go to the shopping center by car? Yes, you can. Another place near my, my workplace. Uh, supermarket. Means of transportation to the supermarket. Actually by foot. Question, can I go to the supermarket by foot? Yes, you can. Another one would be um, 
let me think. Another place, another place, another place, another place. Another place. Another place. Another place. Uh, more general, more general. Um, hospital. Yeah, hospital. Let's see. Means of transportation. Por preguntar algo. By foot. Can I go to the hospital by foot? No, you can't. You can go by my bus. Oops. Let me write it here. You can go by bus. or by car. Okay. So, algo así, van a llenar el cuadrito, ¿no? That's the idea. Places around your workplace. Places around your company. Okay. Entonces, uh, practice the conversation and then complete this, this chart, number five. Any question with the activity? No questions? No question. Okay, I'll send you to work in groups. Join your groups, please. Practice the conversation and complete the chart in exercise five. Go to your groups, please.
You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Now, Shane. Ready? Dígame. Ready? Ready. ¿Está lista? Sí, o sea... Y...
Okay, people, welcome back. Let's take a look to these sentences. We're going to study how to use get and go. How can I get to the trace center? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, profe, voy a manejar a casa. Ya regreso en unos minutos, pero no me desconecto. Okay, uh, we're going to take the second attendance before we continue, okay. Alba Janet Jimenez, here. No. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Okay. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Enrique de Nilsson Escobar. Eric José Hernández. Present teacher. Fanny okay. Judith Palacios. Herman Enrique González. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Ah, nos dejó por la visita. Por el gringo. <laughs> José Abel Izaguirre. Here I am, teacher. Ok. José Miguel Maza. Voy, aquí voy. Ok. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Present. Good. Magdiel Esaú García. Present. I'm here. Ok. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Perfect. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Ok. Wendy Lizette Gómez. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Ok. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Good. Eh, William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Ok. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Ok, en Henry Alberto Rosales. Henry, Henry, ya. Yeah. Present, present. Here. Ok. Okay, get, how can I, uh, how to use get and go. I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. Now, Let's take a look at this. We use get to ask for directions or to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B or 
arrival. What do you think? Hello. Get gives the idea of motion from A to B or the idea of arrival, people. What do you think? Look at the examples again. One asks for a direction and the other uh, say where he's going. Okay, but you have to choose one option from this. Get emphasizes the idea of motion from A to B or the idea of arrival. Get uh, motion, uh -huh. motion, 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 A to B, because he asked. Mm. Mm. What do you think, people? Do you understand the, the question? The word get emphasizes the idea of motion, movement, going from A to B, or the idea of arrival. What is arrival? Llegada. Llegada. So get. Emphasize the idea of going from A to B or the idea of getting to B, arrival. The arrival. Okay, Wilbur says motion. Somebody else says arrival. Motion or arrival? Motion or arrival? Arrival. William says arrival. The rest? <clears throat> Digan algo. Que no le estamos entendiendo. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Okay, what is the idea of get? Well, one, you ask for direction. That's easy. How can I get to the trade center? We use get to ask for directions. How can I get? Okay. And the other use is to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B, going from A point A to point B,
We use get to emphasize the idea of moving from point A to point B or we use get to emphasize the idea of arriving to point B. Look at the examples. I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. In these two sentences. And they use the direction. No, for directions is this, the first one. We use get to ask for directions. How can I get to the trade center? No question. But in sentence two and three, are they using get? to talk about the movement from A to B or to talk about getting to the point B, arriving to the point B. Motion from A to B or arrival. For me, motion for uh, to B. Uh -huh. What is A and B in sentence two? What? From rent a car to Panama. Rent a car is the point A and I'm going to point B, Panama. Yes. No. Oh. Are you sure? Is is a to idea the motion is movement. I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. Am I talking from point A to point B? Is this sentence about point A and point B? Or is this sentence about arriving to Panama? Arrive, get. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. Am I talking of the motion from point A and point B? Or am I talking about arriving to the office? Option B is arriving of the office. Yes. We are not talking about going from point A to point B. We are talking about getting or arriving to a specific point. But we are not mentioning the way to get there. We are not talking about the departure point to the arrival point. No, we are talking about arriving to a place. Going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. The emphasis is on arriving to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. I'm not talking about the departure point. I'm just talking about arriving to the office at 6.30 a.m. 
Teacher, can you share one example for to motion from A to B? Oh, wait a moment. Because get is not for that. So we are explaining that we use get to ask for direction or to emphasize the idea of arrival. That is the use of get. We use get to ask for directions or to emphasize the idea of arrival, period. We don't use get to talk about motion from A to B, no. We don't use get for that. Now, let's take a look to the other sentences. How do you go to work? I'm going to go to the conference center after I check in. I go home around 7 p.m. Okay. We use go to specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B or arrival. Motion from A to B. Yes, motion from A to B. Is the uh, opposite. Well, not the opposite, so is the other. So we use go to talk about the way we use to move from point A to point B. Okay. And we use uh, get to talk about the arrival to a point. Okay, I understand. Got it? Yeah, great. So uh, arrival, uh -uh. no. So if you want to emphasize the arrival, we use get. If you want to emphasize the motion or the movement from A to B, we use go. That's all. Now, let's complete this sentence with get or go. Sometimes both options are possible. Uh, uh, very well, but. Okay. For example, but number two, number one, we're going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. Okay. We're going, to buy We're going to buy a charger, a charger when we get to the airport. When we when arrive we to the airport. airport. Right? Yeah. Number two. Okay. Uh, um, so how do you how do? How do you go to work or how do you get to work? By, and Sophie responds yes. by car. Yes. Oh. Go. How do you go? Yes. In this case, because it's specific, we can use go or get. It's because we are talking about the way to go and the way to arrive. Uh, sometimes both options are possible. So they are similar, but not the same, teacher. Yes, yes. Let's see. The train is going to go to the production plant after the meeting or get to the production plant after the meeting. Going to go. Uh, for me, 
go and get go. The trainer is going to to get get to the production plant after the meeting. Actually, we could use go or we could use get. <laughs> Excuse me, how can I to the bus station? <laughs> Yes, this is get, definitely. Only get. The bank is really near. You can go or get go. by food. Go. 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 second someone is writing in the in WhatsApp. I want to call you when I get. Uh, yes, but in this moment, I'm not working in the book. I mean, in the homework. So I could help you later. Okay. Get. Uh, I'm going to call you when I Can go I get. or get to the hotel. Uh huh? Go and get. Mm, no. Get. Yes. I'm going to call you when I get to the hotel. Cuando llegue. Oh. A bit okay, crazy. but there he is not asking for a direction, but he is doing emphasis in the arrival. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I have some exercises here, but let me see which one is better. Give me a sec. Mm. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, oh, well, this is different. What I have here, give me a second to.
Okay, we're going to work on this one. I have several exercises here, but I was looking the the best option. Let me show you. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this is the one we're going to work with a little bit. Uh, I'm going to share with you in WhatsApp. Okay, look at this chart, this picture and the sentence. You have it there. Okay. Look at this map. And it says here, how can I get to? How can I get to? Read the directions and choose the correct word. Or the correct place. Okay. This is the starting point. You start here. You start here. You start here, okay? We have a library, a bookshop, a school, sports. Uh, what else? Post office, theater, hospital, camera shop, clothes shop, toy shop, shopping center. And we have some streets. Green Street, Market Street, High Street, River Road, Garden Road. And then let's read the instructions. We use the, the imperatives here. Go straight on. Go straight, es irse recto. Turn left. Let me see, I'm going to follow the directions with the line. Go straight on, turn left. Go past the post office and turn right. It's the second building on your left. The first building. The second building on the left. So you are at the hospital. Hospital. 
llegamos a hot. Ok. Ok, that's the idea. Ok. Now, I will give you time to do it individually. I will keep the picture here. Complete two, three, and four, and five. And later we are going to check. All right.
Okay, did you finish? Okay, let's see. Number two, who wants to follow the instructions for number two? One volunteer. Number two is shopping center teacher. Shopping center. Shopping center. For those. Any other answer, people? No, shopping center. Shopping center. Okay, hey, let's see. First instruction, go straight on. Okay, go straight on. Turn right and then turn left into Green Street. Okay, turn right and then turn left into Green Street. Go straight on, pass the park. And turn left. Pass the park and turn left. It's on your right. Up in center. Okay. You're right. Number two is up in center. Number three. Let's see number uh, three. Book book shop. Book shop. Bookshop? Para yes. Mí? Yes. What do you think, people? Is it bookshop? Yes. Bookshop. bookshop. It's a bookshop. Okay, let's see. Go straight. Oh, let me change the... Go straight and turn left. Go past the library and you'll see it on your left. Correct. Bookshop. Number four, take a different color.
Let's go straight on. No, no, I want green. Go straight on. Turn left. Oh, turn left. No. <laughs> La otra um, derecha. <laughs> Turn left and turn right on River Road. It's next to the park on the corner of River Road and High Street. Is this? No identify. This is. It's a bank. The night is not visible. Yes, but it's a bank. But it's this, right? Right. Yes. Bank. It's a bank. And the last one. Uh, cinema. Let me use another color. What color can I use? Blue. Blue. Go straight on. All right. And then left. It's the second building on your left. One, two, this. Yes, cinema. Cinema. Okay. So, this is the way we ask and get directions and give directions or instruct. Any question people? Okay. I will give you this is better. I will give you a link for you to practice a little nice at home. You want to practice a little bit more? You can do it with this link. I will show you the exercise is this. And you can practice at home. Okay, people, it's time for the last attendance of the evening. Uh, recordarles dos cosas. Uno, unidad cuatro, y el examen final, háganlo en el, en el weekend, por favor, háganlo en el fin de semana, ¿verdad? Aprovechen. Eh, el, eh, el lunes ya deben de estar eso terminado, ¿no? Unidad 4 y el examen final. Y los dos que no han terminado la unidad 3, por favor, terminenlo. Ahí les mandé un mensajito directo en el chat. 
Luego eh, ya tienen toda la información para la encuesta. Pero recuerden que la hacemos juntos el lunes. Ya. El lunes va a ser un día de ejercicio, de prácticas y eh, de hacer la encuesta. Y es que por favor no se adelanten con eso. Ok. Very good. Alba Janet Jiménez didn't show up today. Andrea Sofía Benítez. Present teacher. Ok. Good night. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. See you on Monday. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Didn't show up today. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Are you here? But not responding. Mary Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Fanny Judith Palacios. You didn't show up today. Herman Enrique González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. On the whole. Jose Abel Aguirre. Here I am, teacher. Okay, have a good night. See you on Monday. Jose Miguel you, Maza. You're present. Good night, teacher. I see good you night. Monday. See you on Monday. Karina Elizabeth Hernandez. She's gone. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher, see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Eh, Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Hey, good night. See you on Monday. Okay. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher, good night. See you Monday. See you on Monday. Wendy Lizeth Gómez, didn't show up. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Hey, good night, Bye. Wendy. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Perfect, don't go. William Alexander okay. Paniagua. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you Monday. See you on Monday. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. She's gone, and Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. See you on Monday. Okay. See you on Monday. Okay, Wilber. Do you have any question? Any, any doubt? Sorry, teacher. Okay. Any question? Any, any, algo que quieras dar? Mm, no, 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 por lo general pues siento que vamos bien, siempre hay, siempre hay duda, ¿verdad? Pero creo que más que todo práctica, todo. Ok, ok, ok. Oh, let's practice then. Yeah, sure. Let's start. Let's see. Let's practice with uh Okay, I think we started this vocabulary. Let me show you. 
Okay. Locations and direction. Look at this. Okay. Let's go to study mode. Look, where's the gas station? Where is it? According, what, what do you think? How would you respond to this question? Look at the picture. Where's the gas station? Uh, the gas station is straight on uh, next to the the beer corner. I don't know how. Or oh, between. This. It's between. Uh huh. It's between this is, the coffee. This is like a uh huh. A coffee shop or a, a coffee shop. Uh huh. And hmm. police station. Okay. Let's see. Yes, it's between the cafe. You can uh, see cafe or coffee shop and the police station. All right. Very good. Now, look, where is the library? The library is in front of the church. Okay, let's see. The yeah, es otra manera de decirlo, como tú dijiste, in front of, está bien. It's in front of the church or it's opposite the church. Ah, correcto. Now, give direction. Ah, sorry. Este okay. es cross the road. Cross okay. the road. Cruza la calle. Where's the restaurant? The restaurant is uh, straight on. Que siga ahí más, no sé. Nothing. Only the restaurant. Oh, it's difficult because I have not a reference. Okay, let's see. Well, una forma it's sería on right. it's on the right. Otra forma podría decir it's across the street. Up the cross. Across the street, es al, al cruzar la calle. Yeah. Oh, it's on the right. Okay. Give direction. ¿Cuál será la instrucción? Veámosla. Sí. Go over the bridge. Go over the bridge. Uh, hace el puente, ¿verdad? Ok. This one, give direction. Turn your right. Turn your right. Turn right. Ok. Uh, turn right or take the first turning on the right. Está bien. Turn right. Está lloviendo ahí. No, lo que pasa es que eh, recién se ha reparado la, la pila y ahorita se está probando. Ah. Está vacía. Ah, ok, ok. Sí. okay. Ya llovió, de hecho. Ah, oh, really? Sí. Good. Here is. We didn't have rain. Mm -hmm. Ok, a ver. Este, ¿cómo crees que sería? Sería el segundo. Okay. Uh, take the second and turn on left. Ok. Take the second turn. Puede ser on the left. Ah, this one. How do you think? Give a direction. 
across the park. Okay. Go through. Go through the park. O sea, atraviesas atraviesa el parque, ¿no? Eh, y across, entonces no es dentro del parque. Eh, es que no no estamos diciendo across no es un, un verbo across es una ubicación verdad que están diciendo al cruzar la calle o enfrente de uh -huh. ah, correcto porque pide una dirección uh -huh. da Entonces, una dirección eh, pudiera ser cross Ajá. cruza pero no across across es una ubicación es un sitio es un lugar across y si dijera across, across. Cross es un verbo. Ah, ok. ¿Verdad? Cross the park. O sea, cruza el parque, ¿no? Sí. Uh -huh. Ahí sí. Ok. Where is the hospital? The hospital is on your left. Ok. Bueno, sí, está bien. It's down the street. O oh, it's on your left. Eso, esto es prácticamente, esto lo vimos en el primer módulo también. Sí. Y yo siempre me confundí diciéndole a la profesora, ¿verdad? Que básicamente siempre depende de la ubicación de, de donde uno esté. No puedo decir yo, decir, esta da aquí, aquí, allá. Por ejemplo, sí. la iglesia que vimos hace ratito, la iglesia es opposite, opposite to police station, creo que era. Sí. Pero desde mi punto de vista, estaba enfrente. Sí, pero es lo mismo. In front of y opposite es lo mismo. Ok. Verdad, es lo mismo. Pero sí, tiene razón. ¿no? Realmente depende de dónde uno esté ubicado. Sí. Es así. Eso partiendo de este lugar, de hecho yo pensé que iba a decir it's on the left. ¿Verdad? Sí. Porque el otro parecido nos había salido it's on the right. Sí. Yeah. Sí, correcto. Quizá, pero sí. Es down the street. Está bien, también. It's on the left. Para mí estaría bien una respuesta correcta. Okay. O sea, de hecho que puede haber varias formas de decir lo mismo, ¿no? Uh -huh. Sí, porque... Ajá. A ver, where is the bank? Este es el bank. ¿Y si nos da un, una referencia? The bank is on your left, uh, up the hospital. A ver, oh, next, como... next, ah, next, okay, next, next, okay. next, sorry, next. Okay, it's next to the hospital, ajá. Uh -huh. What decir next to? Next to. Next to. Uh, give direction. Eso es más que todo como una inclinación. Pero yo decía, yo diría down the street. Veamos, ya. Yeah. Go down the street, go down the road. This. Turn your left. Yes, turn left. This uh, go straight on and turn your left. Ah, uh, bueno, ap Follow aprendamos aquí. Okay. Sí. <laughs> sí. Okay. I don't know. Give direction. office mm. strike on oh, ah, ah, solo que te pasas de y te dan una referencia ah, 
straight on and past the uh, post office. Uh -huh. Go past the post office. Correcto. This one. Mm. Straight on. Yeah, go up. Wow. Go straight, go along the road. <laughs> yeah. Siga, siga la calle, no go straight, sería bien, correcto. No hay problema. Bueno, hay bastantes más aquí, pero it is time, ¿ok? Sí, correcto, correct, no problem. Ok, Wilbur, thank you for staying. And have a good thank night. You. Thank you for you, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow, eh, on Monday. On Monday, yes. Bye bye.